Hey, this is Cell Block 776. About to make a run into town and thought it would be a good opportunity to rotate out my fuel reserve. It's always a good idea to have a backup fuel supply. Doesn't have to be a lot. You can start small, a two gallon canister like this. Get you a long way in most modern cars and trucks. Go ahead and head to the auto parts store, get yourself a good fuel container, fill it up, put it in your garage or shed, and have it there. About once a month, rotate it through your gas tank in your car or your truck, and top it back off. Next month, get another container, fill it up, put it in your shed or garage. Now you've got two. Go ahead and start rotating them through about once a month. Now, we know disasters can hit, supply lines can be disrupted. You've seen it before, hurricanes, Katrina, Superstorm Sandy. We've seen earthquakes, wildfires, even tornadoes. Strike an area, next thing you know, you got long lines waiting on those gas pumps that are just about to go dry anyway. Probably not taking uh, cash or credit at the machines, only cash if stores even have power down here after Katrina and the Gulf South a lot of the stores stepped up their uh, alternative power plans put in generators to keep the lights on keep the pumps going but then you got to depend on the fuel trucks to keep them uh, serviced keep that supply on hand go ahead and keep your own supply uh, I like to say at least a tanks worth this car here has a 12 gallon gas tank I like to keep about 15 gallons on hand at any time now, you can do larger cans, these five gallon cans, very useful, you can get heavy, but they carry a lot. Two gallon gas cans, also very useful, carry enough to get you quite a few miles down the road. I even go with little one gallon gas cans. These are great for just emergency top off, or think about this, you need to barter with someone. Your vehicle's broke down, you can't get to it, but you got someone who can probably give you a ride or help you out, you can barter this off. A gallon of gasoline can probably get you a vehicle, a ride somewhere, a little help that you didn't have before. So this makes a good barter item. Keep this also. Put it in your trunk, keep it in your shed or your garage, have it if you need it. It's not that complicated, being prepared is simple. Just take a few steps, doesn't take a lot. As always, be responsible, be safe, keep training, keep learning, and keep watching. This is Cell Block 776. Bye-bye.